And um, today I'm going to share the book Knuffle Bunny by Mo Williams. This is for Library 829 with Emporia State University, Fall Term 2012. Knuffle Bunny, a cautionary tale by Mo Williams. Look at all those little round things. What are those? What do you think those are? Knuffle Bunny, a cautionary tale by Mo Williams. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Where do you think Trixie and her daddy live? Is it a city or the country? Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. Look at her help. She's got the sock on her hand, the pants on her head. What's daddy doing? What's he putting into the washing machine? She even got to put the money into the machine. Chunk, chunk. Then they left. Do you see anything that you think might be a problem? Who do you see in the washing machine? That's right. Let's find out now. But a block or so later, Trixie realized... Something. <gasps> Trixie turned to her daddy and said, I go fly, go blah, blah, blah. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Uh oh, Trixie's. Is Trixie happy or sad? Can you tell by her face? I go fly, go clobble. Trixie said again. <laughs> now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie Ball. <laughs> she went boneless. Let's try that. We don't have any bones in us. We're like noodles. Hard to walk that way, isn't it? Turn the page. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. Look at her. What do you think she's doing? She's pretty upset, isn't she? Well, as soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, Where's Knuffle Bunny? <laughs> Trixie looks at Dad. <laughs> Doesn't take any words to know what she's thinking, does it? The whole family ran down the block. And they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Knuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked. But Knuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. <laughs> So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder. Super daddy. He took out every piece of clothes until... Oh, Knuffle Bunny! And those were the first words Trixie ever said. The end. Now parents... This book works great for kids because we've all gone through this before, haven't we? This is the first in the series of Knuffle Bunny, so if you enjoy it, check out the library. We have the other books, too.
Thanks for coming to Storytime today.